Hello everyone, how have you been? Good to have you back on our channel today on this tutorial. My name is Priska Osegale, the lead instructor at Gold Imperial Academy, where we empower individuals to become better garment makers through our trainings in pattern drafting and garment construction. We'll be taking a look at how to create the handkerchief flare. I have one already done right here beside me, but I'm going to also teach you how to create yours. I'm going to be using this fabric right here. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is you have to first of all determine your radius. Okay. We have the link on how to calculate your radius linked in the description box. Okay. Once you are done, calculating your radius you also want to determine how long you want your flare to be so for this i'm going to be doing nine inches i have calculated my radius and i have 1.75 i have approximated that to two inches because i want to have some to pleat on the place where i'll be attaching this by the way i'm going to be attaching this to my sleeve and one thing about this concept is that you can apply it anywhere on your garment once you understand how to go about it. So for this, I'm going to be applying it to my sleeve, okay? So I have calculated my radius, like I said, I'm going to be using two inches. And for this, I'm going to make the length nine. So nine plus two inches that gives me 11 so you fold your fabric in two and then fold again this is what i mean so you fold in two i have folded this in two okay can you see okay i folded this in two then you measure out 11 inches and then fold again so this is what i mean okay you measure out 11 inches right here and then you fold again so that gives you four folds so here we are I have my fabric all laid out now you have to make sure that you have that same 11 inches all around because you're not going to be cutting anything else apart from your radius okay so you can see here I have to adjust this place because okay you can see Okay, so I have to adjust here. So all I'll just do is move my fabric forward a bit so that I can have the same 11 at the base right there. Okay, so my fabric is laid out again. So I'm gonna measure now. I have 11, so you can mark 11, 11 and 11 great so i'm going to be connecting this in a straight line okay so you also make sure that you have 11 so you mark 11 in other words what we are saying is it has to be a square okay it has to be a square it has to have the two sides equal so remember you fold it in four okay as though you're going to be cutting a circle but this time around you're not cutting a circle in essence what you're actually cutting is a square that has a radius so i've marked out my square now i'm going to be marking out the radius now my radius is two remember i got 1.75 but i approximated this to two inches because i would like to have some excess to pleat so there you are okay all right so this is great this is really looking great so this is it very simple very easy to create so right now i'm going to go ahead and cut out my radius okay ordinarily i would have preferred to add my seam allowance outside of my radius but because i wouldn't mind having some excess so i'm cutting it on my radius exactly so next I'm going to be cutting out
so that is it so here we go so when you open it up you will see okay so when we attach it that is when you will actually see the beauty of this so i'm going to go ahead now add my lining and then add this to my sleeve so you can incorporate this into any part of your garment as your peplum you can even incorporate this concept as a skirt okay whatever you want to apply it to your free to do so once you understand that what you're doing in essence is cutting a square and then cutting the radius you're good to go you can apply it anywhere so the only thing that will be changing are your dimensions that is the length and the breadth of your square so i hope you found this very easy to create i'd like to see yours i'll be showing you how this came out on the garment where i used it and i hope you will really like it so till we come your way again next time in case you would like to get in touch with us for any of our trainings you can do so on the link that is also in the description box you can join our community on facebook gold imperial academy we are also on instagram and facebook like our page follow us at j gold imperial we look forward to connecting with you thank you so very much for always joining us in our tutorials don't forget to like share with your friends and if you are yet to subscribe please do so till we see you again bye